This video introduces bearing and discusses the bearing load dialog. Bearing simulates the effect of a force in a pinhole connection on cylindrical faces. This bearing load produces the total equivalent load as a force, but it is only applied to the selected faces of an instance. The distribution of the load is automatic over half the cylinder in the direction specified as a parabolic function. If all surfaces are coplanar, the distribution is uniform. This type of loading allows you to capture the loading generated by cylindrical faces onto a bearing surface. To add a bearing load to the assembly, select bearing from the assembly toolbar. The bearing load dialog appears. Select a single instance in the assembly on which the load should be applied. Next, establish the faces to load. The loads must be applied directly to the instance faces. Any number of faces may be selected, but they must all belong to the instance selected in the instance field. Next, establish a load direction with an explicit or implicit mate connector. The load direction is aligned with the mate connector's z-axis. The direction for the push and pull of the load can be reversed along the z-axis by clicking the opposite direction arrow. Load direction is configurable for each simulation. Once a load direction is established, a solid line extends from the instance outward with a load direction arrow placed at the end of the line. Each load type has its own unique icon. Now that a load direction is established, set the magnitude of the load along any of the three axes. The magnitude units may vary and are set by the document's workspace units defined as force default unit or from your account preferences. With this document's force default unit set to Newton, the default value in this load is 1000 Newtons along the z-axis. Change the magnitude to the desired amount for any of the axes. Click the green check mark to accept the load. When the icon is selected from the graphics area, the icon and loaded instance region turn orange. Right click the load direction icon to open a context menu with options such as edit the load, hide, suppress unsuppress, and delete load. Enable show results. Enable show deformation. Inspect the results by changing the simulation plot type, animating the simulation, and probing the model.